an aviation industry worker who raised safety concerns and reported retaliation by his employer, has passed away after a brief illness. The news comes just weeks after the death of another Boeing whistleblower. Attorneys representing both individuals confirmed the sad news on Thursday. Joshua Dean, 45, residing in Wichita, Kansas, succumbed on Tuesday after battling multiple diagnoses, including the flu, pneumonia, and MRSA. Concerned about the suddenness of his decline, Dean's family has requested an autopsy, according to attorney Robert Turkowitz. Turkowitz noted he was a fit individual who maintained a healthy lifestyle, adding, so it's perplexing how rapidly his health deteriorated. Dean had been unwell for two weeks, experiencing difficulty breathing, which ultimately led to him being placed on a ventilator. Expressing condolences, Brian Knowles, another attorney representing Dean, stated, our thoughts and prayers are with Josh and his family. Josh's passing is not only a loss to the aviation community, but also to the general public. He exhibited immense courage in standing up for what he believed was right, highlighting quality and safety concerns. Turkowitz and Knowles also represented John Barnett, a 62-year-old from Louisiana who tragically died on March 9th from a self-inflicted gunshot wound while in Charleston, South Carolina, for a deposition related to his legal action against Boeing. Barnett, a former longtime Boeing employee, had raised alarms about safety issues with the 787 Dreamliner. Joshua Dean, a former quality auditor at Boeing supplier Spirit Aerosystems, had accused management of neglecting manufacturing defects on the 737 MAX planes. While not a plaintiff himself, Dean was referenced in a 2023 shareholder lawsuit against Spirit. Our thoughts are with Josh Dean's family, Spirit spokesperson Joe Buccino said in the statement. This sudden loss is stunning news here at Spirit and for his loved ones. The stress of the past few years could have taken a toll on Dean, Turkowitz said. We were told that stress can cause the immune system to weaken and makes you more susceptible to pneumonia, the flu, and MAR-SA, he said. He'd been under a lot of stress for blowing the whistle and being terminated, he believed, as a result of blowing the whistle. He'd been trying to get the word out and no one would listen.